Okay, here we are back in CSEC. Good old CSEC and the safety, what kind of safety, of the Citadel again, which is always nice to get back here after a long haul of missions. Okay, it's been a while actually because we did all the side stuff and then we went to Vermine and all that stuff. So yeah, it's been a little while since we've been here. Let's uh, go see the wreck officer down here quickly, see if he's got anything decent. Normally most of the good stuff is really going to be from him. Also got to sell a load of stuff. Let's have a quick look in our inventory quickly. That's not the button I went. That one. Um, we'll keep that assault rifle for someone in the party. Sell those two. Oh my god. Why have I got so many weapons? Um... Again, I'll, basically the really good high damage ones I'll keep for now, and then I'll just sell them like later on if I want to. Um, hmm. Quite a bit less shields, isn't it? I just talk to him anyway. Hello, Commander. Show me what you got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Oh, inventory management is a fucking annoying thing in games, but it is good to get through everything. Okay. Um, so you. Oh, I wish you could... Oh, fucking hell, really? You know what? Screw it. If I have anything for myself, I'm just going to sell everything. I've got everything I want for myself, really, so... And the rest of the parties are okay-ish. So I'll keep a decent sniper rifle for Garrus. Um, there was one which was 240 odd, something like that, wasn't it? Because I've already sold it. 211. 146. That sounds like a cool name. 104. <coughs> Striker. Windows 78. And I guess. Yo, yo, yo. Ooh, 209. Okay, I'll keep you. Oh, God. What was the other... What was it? Was it you? No, not you. Equalizer. 211. Okay, yep. You're the good one. So, tell everything else, basically. Da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. How much money? And, uh, yeah, we'll keep that for um, Garrus. Okay, unless this one's better. 278. <laughs> okay. Uh, considering buying you. <coughs> yeah, I might buy you. Uh, this assault rifle, like. It's, phew, that's a good assault rifle. How much is it? Two for the one. Um, that's a good still. This is going to be good. 256. Oh, fuck yeah. Where are you? That's the best so far. Uh, any other pistols? Stiletto. Uh, no, that's the best one, I think. Where has it gone? Yep. Good. Let's go up you then, shall we? So we've got a new pistol. Do you have any light armor? That's decent. Oh, Onyx IV. Nope. Um, guarding free. Oh, I ain't got any good armor, though. That's annoying. Uh, he's really annoying. Right, should I buy this for Rex? Hmm, Rex is using shotty though. Should I buy him a good shotgun? 320. Yeah. I'll buy you for Rex. <clears throat> and then, yeah, Rex is my shotgun slash tank. Like, close range, basic character. Garrus is my long range sniper. And I'm in between with a pistol. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's go, let's not go that way, let's go to um, the markets, see what is on offer there, and see what side quests and stuff are available. Um, Anderson wants to see us in flux, um, but that is kind of like the story point that leads on to ILO, so we won't do that just yet. I'm a quick wander around where I think a few side quests pop up. There's one around here somewhere, like in over that, around that corner somewhere, and there's another one. And there's one down by um, Flux, on the way to Flux. So they're like the only two side quests I can really think of right now. Um, I honestly can't think of any more that pop up, so really that's the two we'll do and then we'll get out of here. See what Mornan has to offer. Yes, human. You need something, yes? 
Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, light armor. Nope. Oh, come on. I really want some good armor before we go. Like maybe the records are on the actual Normandy will have something decent before we leave. Hmm. You have anything for me? Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the coast? Tell you what, we'll go talk to the merchant guy. There was a merchant Hannah, wasn't excellent. there, in the Presidium? I am sure you will find something pleasing. Okay. Uh, nope. No light armor at all. Let's go to the Presidium quickly. Um, we'll go to Cora's Den as well, just in case. I'm just trying to think of any missions I know which pop up. Just can't think of any. Um, yeah, let's just go to the embassies quickly. There's a merchant there, if I remember correctly. It was a Hanar. He might have stuff I haven't been to him in ages. A we'll quick look at him and then we'll carry on to Flux. And then Cora's Den quickly. It was over this way, I think. Like, over there, basically. There, I think. What, what the... Why did you just get out of the sniper for? What is button? I'm pressing a button somewhere that's making me just switch weapons sometimes. It's really weird. Okay. Oh, I, might, I finally watched um, Interstellar last night. It's such a good film. Really good film. Um... I went into it completely blind, which is good. Quite often I sort of spoil films for myself by um, just reading about them beforehand. But instead I went in that completely blind, pretty much. I knew the basic premise of it, like just trying to find a new planet to live on. But that was it. I knew nothing else about it. So it was a really cool film. And the ending, when they're on that station, is so much like the Presidium here, basically. It's really cool. Right, ah, oh, here you are. What have you got for me? Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be You've got a few options for us, haven't you? Let's see. We've got Corrin armor. Phoenix IV. No. Take the license in the ready gel. What was the upgrade you had? Commander. Yeah, yeah, hurry up. Uh, nah, okay. So that was a, bit, a little bit of a waste of time. Um, <laughs> we got some um, ready gel upgrades out of it and our license, but yeah. Right, Cora's Den, just in case anything is in there. I'm certain there's nothing. But I just, yeah, I just don't want to miss anything. Quite often, like at this stage of the game, I'm just kind of going through stuff I know is there. So, like, quests that pop up. I'm certain there's nothing here, but we'll have a quick look. In case there's anyone in here we talk to. I honestly just can't remember. Most I never really go here anyway. Most, play most playthroughs, I kind of, because I know where everything is, I just kind of go to those places. There could be an opportunity I'm missing. Strange what? Some club owners like to exploit us by hiring us as dancers. Harkins, sir. Nah, I don't think there's anything here, is there? Okay, that was a little bit of a waste of time. Let's just go to where I know, which is basically outside Flux. There's a guy, and also there's a uh, politician guy who's a racist, wants us to join his party, basically. What's like outlaw aliens or whatever on the station? Okay. Um, he's near the med clinic, so we'll just go from there. Go from there, then we'll go to Flux. And then we'll talk to Anderson, and then we are leaving this place and heading on to Ilos. Good. There's a good few moments on Ilos as well. A little insight into what actually happened with the Reapers. It's really cool. Cool little conversation there as well. That's the thing. Some of the best things in this game are just conversations with characters. 
like the conversation with Sovereign earlier, and then there's a conversation coming up soon as well. Look, just really cool. Oh, here he is. You're the Spectre, right? Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. You obviously wanted to speak to me. I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? Sorry, I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shan Shi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Pointless. Got a little bit of XP there. Okay. Uh, let's go to Flux, which is here. Yeah, here we go. There's one more side quest here on the way into Flux. And then that's it. Talking to Anderson. <laughs> the place game so many high I know every conversation, encounter, everything. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I understand. It's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the medbay. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. You won't be doing humanity any favors if you overdose during negotiations. Get help now. You don't understand. Humanity <laughs> needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. Okay. All right, now it's just Anderson. Right, we're gonna have one little dance before we talk to him, just because we can. Show off Commander Shepard's amazing dancing skills. A bit better, I think, than male shepherds. Um, male shepherds dancing isn't the greatest. <laughs> it's more like who's around here doing it. Yeah, I kind of like this slaring guy here. That is pretty much our shepherd dance, male shepherd dances. <laughs> okay. Um, anything else up here to do? Wait, I can talk to you. Oh, okay. Did we get that? Um, do 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 do. Keeper? No, we didn't. Probably the last keeper we're going to get of the game. How many have we done? Does it say? Oh my God, there's so many side quests I didn't bother with. There we go. We did 13 out of 21. I think as long as you do so many, like at least half, then you get. Um, a reference to it in the second game, I think, and the third one possibly in the DLC. But I just love this setting. I mean, look at this just amazing view. Everyone just chilling. Ah, it's awesome. All right, 
let's have a little chat with Captain Anderson, shall we? I'm glad you came, sir. I heard what happened. The Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Islands. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. <laughs> Best thing ever coming out. Forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. You'll have a better chance if you go after the ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Hell yeah. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Okay. Right then. Let's make this quick. Let's get out of this place. Let's save the world. Okay. What are we doing? Okay. We we'll use the thing here. Get back to C-Sec. So long, Flux. So long, Citadel. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, it's this one. Let me sure I get the right fucking one on that last time. We went up there. <sighs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba oh. Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Batia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Batia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Batia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. Okay. Here we go. Right here, let's go. I'm gonna give it a sexy time, the cadence coming up as well. <laughs> 